Hi, I'm Courtney Lewis, a doll senior editor at Experience Life magazine and Mama to Be. And I'm here today with Bluma Yoga founder Sarah Longacre. Today we're going to go through a prenatal yoga sequence that's perfect for any mom at any stage during their pregnancy. We're going to start our practice today by bringing your hands directly onto your baby. Yeah, and when you're ready, you can just close your eyes. Your feet are going to be hip distance apart, possibly wider. And with your feet parallel, it might feel good to just take a couple breaths to sway your hips. If you want to, you can even take a figure eight. Just starting to bring some blood into your pelvic bowl, to baby. And then when you're ready, maybe reverse your circle and take another good deep inhale and exhale all the way down to your babe. Nice. When you're ready, just take a nice deep inhale as you stand tall. Exhale, release your hands to the side. On your next inhale, you're going to sweep your arms all the way up to the sky, looking up, reaching up. Exhale, you're going to hinge forward at the waist and dive forward. Let your heart lead you. Beautiful. On your next inhale, come halfway up. Shrug the shoulders together, create a long spine and slowly release back down. You can take a little bend in your knees here. As you inhale, you're gonna sweep those arms right back all the way up to the sky, giving baby lots of room. Exhaling, hands to heart center. Yeah, let's take that one more time. Deep inhale, mamas, lifting up, reaching up. On your exhale, swan dive forward. Let baby really feel that space. Inhale, you're gonna come halfway up. And this time we're gonna exhale, we're gonna walk our way to downward facing dog. So you can bend your knees slowly, one hand at a time, we come forward. 10 fingers spread wide. We're gonna notice that our spine is nice and long. Soft bend in the knees to create more space in the back. Beautiful, and then press the heels down. This is a nice time to really press all 10 fingers into the mat. Yeah. When you're ready, on your next inhalation, slide forward to plank pose. We're getting ready for mama push-ups. You're gonna release the knees down onto your mat. Your gaze is gonna come forward. And when you're ready, with your knees on your mat, you're gonna take an inhale and come halfway down. For some of you mamas, it might just be an inch. And exhale, press back up. Yeah, let's do two more. Inhale, strong mamas. Exhale, use your core. That's it, spine is long, last one. Beautiful. When you're ready, inhale, tuck your toes. Exhale back to downward facing dog. Oh, and this down dog, you might circle out your head and your neck. You might lick your lips or you might smile up at your baby's belly and at your belly and say hello. Mm, Nice. When you're ready, real calmly rise to the tips of your toes, create space. Exhale, walk your hands back to meet your feet. No rush at all, moms. Take it at your own pace. We'll take an inhale to a half lift, creating that long flat back again. Beautiful. Exhale, softly forward fold. Last inhale, sweep the arms up all the way, reach up, and with a smile on your face, exhale, hands to the heart. Preparing for our warriors, you're going to step your right foot forward to the top of your mat. You want a big three to four feet in between your feet. Yeah. On your next inhale, extend and reach your arms nice and long. Exhale, you're going to bend into that front knee, really thinking about rolling the thigh open. Nice. Softening the hip. Oh, beautiful, relaxed shoulders. And as I like to say, this is a wonderful pose to close your eyes. Yeah, and to notice how deep you can relax. It's a strong, powerful pose of confidence. One more breath. Exhale a little deeper. Nice. When you're ready, you're going to straighten that right leg. You're going to sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. And we'll take that same pose in the opposite leg. So bending this time into the left foot. Arms are going to reach. We're rolling the thighs open. Toes are nice and relaxed. Yeah, arms reaching out. Jaw is going to soften. And again, a nice time to close your eyes. And maybe there's a mantra. Maybe you're saying to yourself, I am powerful. I'm strong, and I can do it. Beautiful. When you're ready, your next exhale will release your arms down. We'll straighten the front leg. We're moving into our last and final powerful pose called goddess. So our toes are going to come all the way out. Our heels are going to be in. You can sweep the arms nice and high to give baby a ton of space. And then on your exhale, please bend both knees and melt down into this final big hip opener. 
Yeah, and as you can see, arms are wide, palms are open to receive, and sometimes you can be a little playful here, and just moving the torso, moving the arms, breathing in and breathing out. Ah, oh, nice. When you're ready, take a full big breath, and then bring your hands, one hand to heart and one hand to your baby. Mm. And just again, remembering you can do this. Pregnancy is a lot of hard work. Be gentle and kind and loving to yourself and notice where you are strong. I wish all of you mamas a safe and powerful birth. Namaste. This next sequence is perfect before bedtime. You're gonna take a nice long inhale and create a long spine on all fours. On your exhale, round your back as you press into the earth and bring your chin to your chest. Look at all the space. Inhale, slowly come back into a flat back, gazing just slightly towards the top of your mat. Exhale, press into the earth and round into cat pose. So you do not need a yoga mat for this. This can be done simply next to your bed after you've brushed your teeth. The benefit of this pose is huge. We wanna give baby a chance to roll away from the low back. We wanna get the pelvis nice and relaxed. Baby can even move a little bit away from your bladder that cuts down on bathroom trips, which is always nice. Let's go ahead and take one more. Real deep, big inhales and exhales. Hold here for a moment and just go ahead and wag your hips a little side to side, feeling all that space in the side of your body. Beautiful. When you're ready, slowly breathe your way back to a flat spine. We're gonna make our way into our squat. So you're just going to gently tuck the toes, come into a nice modified down dog, and walking your hands back to meet your feet. Feet are going to come nice and wide as you set the hips down onto your block. This can be done at home with a lot of books or bolster. If it feels okay, I'm going to have you walk your feet even a little bit wider so your heels are on the mat. Yeah. And then gently when you're ready, slowly bring the shoulders down, closing your eyes. And we know that the benefits of squatting are huge. This is opening up pelvis. It's a wonderful way to prepare your body for birth. All you need to do is take three to four deep breaths here, letting your blood and relaxation come all the way down. When you're ready, softening the jaw for your last breath. Gorgeous. Hands are going to come to the floor. And you're going to slide your way down into a nice side lying position so there's no rush. And just slowly make your way there. I'm going to recommend that you take lots of pillows and blankets for this final pose. We're going to bring a blanket underneath mama's knees. Nice. And then bringing a pillow underneath mama's head. And if you have a friend, your significant other, or even maybe an older sibling, this is a nice time before you go to sleep just to have someone come and stroke your back. And as you begin to drift off to sleep, just remind yourself that you are amazing. You are soft, you are relaxed. And begin to really breathe in trust. Trusting that your pregnancy will be exactly what it's meant to be. Trusting that your baby will come on the perfect day. I wish all of you a safe and peaceful birth. Namaste.